The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. Hey, what's up? This is Sam Ryder. I'm joining Smallsy tonight, live from London. All right, hanging out on the show tonight now. I, I'm going to say he's got one of the best voices in the business, but I'm going to pour. He has the best hair <laughs> in the business. Sam Ryder, it is a pleasure to meet you, sir. Big up, Smallsy. I really appreciate you having me. Dude, mate. but i got to talk about your hair. <laughs> Iconic. Is that, can I touch it? Or can of course I, you can. I just want to, can I, it's like a mane. It's oh, a little, like, it's that. full of, um, how long have you been? Full of Wembley right now. <laughs> yeah. H- how long have you been growing that for? Uh, uh-uh. That is, that is a work of art in its own. You know what? The last time I had a proper haircut, I was a kid in school and my mum just dropped me off. You know, that one of like the high yeah, street barbers. Yeah, kicks you out of the car. Yeah, I'll I'm come gonna back do in my 20. shopping Exactly yeah. there. And she came back and they'd done a Count Dracula on me like proper like point and super short and I think it scarred me for life and that so was I it. never had that short hair again okay yeah. uh, now let's talk about that voice of yours dude I don't I don't want, I, I'm sure a lot of people piss in, piss, piss in your pocket tell you how great you are <laughs> I just want to tell you someone from all the way in Australia I can hear that falsetto all the way on the other side of the world what what a voice what a track, Spaceman Man, congratulations. Bless you, thank you so much, man. Dude, like, what is what is the story? Like, tell me your background. We're going to play this track in just mm. a second, but, like, apart from Eurovision, a couple of weeks ago, I don't think anyone in Australia had seen or heard of nah. you and just were like, who is this guy? And But but uh, obviously there's no such thing as an overnight success, so I'm guessing this has been years Yeah, it's, away. A, it's a long time, man. Like, I... Um, I started off playing mostly to no one in like pubs and clubs. So same story as so many other artists. You know, you just you got this sort of dream that you'll be able to share your own music one day. And uh, but while you're having that dream, you're working in construction. Okay, or great. You're like yeah, running a cafe or yep. um, singing at weddings or anywhere. You know, just to like earn your stripes and get your hours in. And um, yeah, like I, I, my parents had wicked taste in music when I was growing up. So it's a lot of Earth, Wind and Fire. Yep. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Beautiful South, and mm. Queen, and then like for me, Iron Maiden were like a journey, and okay. Megadeth were, like yeah. massive bands. Okay, and sure. So it's just an amalgamation of all of that, and yeah. just singing nonstop, and just being absolutely uh, stubborn that this yeah. is what you wanted to do. And you kept plugging away. Exactly, man. Yeah. And then and then uh, and then fast forward to a global pandemic. Yeah, and sung a, Britney and Spears and in my yeah, kitchen, and a, gar- <laughs> and, a, and a garden shed, and a TikTok yeah. account, and. And then you go viral. Yeah. Did that change that, that changed your your life, right? Yeah, yeah. So really when I think about like outwardly how things started changing, it was yeah, like I was in my mum's kitchen and I sung Britney Spears, hit me baby one more time as high as I could. And uh, for some reason, like it went a bit nuts. I went to bed and I woke up in the morning, it was like two million views or something like that, which was balmy. I'd never done anything before where people on that scale or even near that yeah. scale had seen it. And then I just carried on doing it. I sang in the corner of my shed for the best part of the entire lockdown, you know? And um, I, I sung every single day throughout yeah. that whole lockdown, and whether it was Whitney Houston When or, did you know yeah. your life was changing? Was in it the middle point? of May. Middle of, okay, was that, yeah. when it, was that when it was trucking along? And then May you go, 15th, exactly. May 15th. Yeah, I, was, I always remember it because it was Sia, actually. Absolute okay. legend, so big up Sia. And I know she's like yep. such a cool person as well. Like... She um, saw the cover that I did of Elastic Heart. Yeah. And I think Justin Bieber had texted it to her and then she put it on Instagram and then people started tagging me in it. And then she'd just written this lovely, like encouraging, kind comment underneath, just kind of rooting for me. And that means a, a lot. Do you know what I mean? When you're just stood in the corner of your shed, have no idea what's going on in the rest of the world, really. And then Sia does something like that. It changes your work gives you a bit of faith and hope. You know what I love about that, right? And I'm sure you, I'm, I don't know if you would know this or I don't know if you would experience this, but it, for an artist to champion another artist mm. says a lot about the two artists involved. Number one, the person who's got the platform and champions is so comf- confident and comfortable where they sit in the music sphere mm. that they're not worried about someone cutting their grass metaphorically. Exactly. And number two, for the artist that gets the endorsement, it can change your world yeah and i love that that can be that organic connection between two artists someone who can see something and go there's a talent there 
the world needs to know about that. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. And it confirms everything I wanted to like be confirmed about Sia. Yeah. She's been an absolute like hero vocally of mine, but now it's just as a person to have that much grace to to do something like that. I think is wonderful, yeah. and it's it's such a a, a telling characteristic of right. someone is amazing. The new track is Spaceman, which we love in Australia. Um, the falsetto. Uh, I, I mean, I don't even... Just, could just tell me the story of the song. Go through it all. Tell me what I need to know. So it was a wicked sunny day in London, which is rare, about a year and a half ago. Which I'm going to say, it is... We are... It, it's it's summer, gorgeous it's today. Summer, it's a... It's not though, Sam. And I'm gonna <laughs> everyone here in the UK is like, oh, oh happy, my God. happy summer, everybody. Happy summer. It's 22 degrees. <laughs> it's basically what we would say in Australia, a partly cloudy day. There's moments of sunshine, uh, but everyone here is losing their We're marbles. Buzzing, mate. You are absolutely everyone's... buzzing. For everyone back home, it's summer. But don't leave home without a jacket because it will get a little chilly in the shade. <laughs> I love that, man. It's like the best day of the year so far. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> shitting all over it. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's a beautiful summer day. Yeah, so we go into this uh, a bit studio. Like today. Yeah. yeah, with typical, it's like no natural light. Yeah. And I meet these two guys, um, Amy and Max, first time we've ever met. And we sit down at a piano, um, and in 10 minutes, the song's written. Now, that doesn't happen every day, but when it does, you're so grateful as a songwriter because the song feels like it's just in midair. It's there already. All you've got to do is get out the damn way of it. Yeah. And then and then, and then, then Eurovision. Yeah, then Eurovision, and then the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Bonkers, man. And then Wembley last night, it's just like... Uh, I'm Have, just. Are you pinching yourself? Are you taking photos? Are you taking videos so you can remember this? Because, you know, when I see stuff like this happen for artists and it, when it happens very quickly and a lot, you can get so caught up in where to next, where to next. Yeah. Like you can forget what it was like to stand out there in front of 80,000 people on the yeah. weekend or play the, the platy tubes. Yeah. Like, you know, take photos, take yeah. videos. And also like, to, like really work on not getting nervous because if you're nervous in my experience, you go out and you miss the whole thing. You're there, but you're not there. No, you're not present. Yeah, so like I'm really just enjoying the opportunity. Like, <laughs> And that's all you can do because if you stay in that mindset and stay present and focused, you can go out there and actually like enjoy the thing. Yeah. That you're, you're, you're there performing and like, I, think of the people that have been there before. You had fun yesterday, right? I had a blast. I could tell. <laughs> you could tell that you were having the time of your life. I hadn't seen the pyro or anything like that before because it costs a fortune, so yeah. they don't set it off in the sound check. No. So I'm like, whoa. This is great. <laughs> um, what is it? like? Oh no, uh, uh, and, um, again, I, your voice, it blows me away. Like Very rarely do we have... I, I, you have an artist with a calibre of voice like yours. When you... Uh, we, we, and with the power and the range, when you're in Wembley Stadium doing it yesterday, like the confidence just to, to give it at all and then to be heard as mm. well. Because when it's so when it, when the voice is so fragile and, and when you hear it and it's so beautiful that it can get lost in eighty thousand people, yeah. you know, like and for you to for me to feel it as one of the eighty thousand people in just bog standard seats. I mean, kudos well, to you. Mate, well, firstly, you're incredibly kind. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, singing in a space like that, you just, like I was saying earlier, reflect on, although it's a new building, like that patch of ground mm. is still the patch of ground that icons and giants have walked on. And you just reflect on those people. And, like, if you can do a fraction of what they did, then... You're, you're flying. Absolutely. Uh, you have been, you know, your voice has been compared as to uh, some of the greats. How does that make you feel? Um, I mean, uh, flattered. It, I don't flat believe it. it. Yeah, you know, alle those you're allergic to it, right? I can, exactly. Like, when yeah, someone yeah, says, yeah. oh, Freddie Mercury, exactly, I was like, yeah. no, one like can touch no, it. please don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's a compliment, but I can also imagine totally. you'd be shitting yourself going, holy fuck. What yeah, do because I have it's, to like, do? he is the best, in my opinion, that there's, you know, one of the best there's ever been. So I really appreciate it, but. I will never believe that hype. Yeah. And I think that's a good thing. No one should ever believe that kind never of hype. Never. Because, yeah. you know, I, I also genuinely believe too, like, you know, even, you know, Freddie and any of the greats, they never believed they were the great. No. You let people believe you are great. But if you start buying into that hype yourself, yeah. like, it's all over. It's the same the way that Freddie, like, was absolutely 
like enamored with Aretha or Montserrat, like mm. these giants of singing. And those guys had their giants. Like you just got to do your best. You got to sing with the right energy and intention. Let everything else take care of itself. Um, now I know this is. I, I, I'm sure you're getting uh, lots of invitations to go everywhere and do everything and you can barely keep up with them all but are you got any plans to visit australia any plans to tour the world to take your music around i absolutely love australia um i can't wait to get over there uh someone can hopefully help me improve my surfing game because it's dreadful i mean cornwall like every weekend at the minute just trying okay you are trying yeah, yeah, yeah okay i'm trying it's, you just don't have the magic no <laughs> and you'd have to be wearing a wetsuit all the time because it yeah. is so damn cold <laughs> it is so damn cold all right sam before i let you go lightning round of getting to know you questions gotcha this is don't think about it okay just it is instinctual just from the gut yeah just whatever comes out if it's wrong <laughs> oh, well, it's wrong. You know, if, if you're going to live to regret it, then you live to Perfect. regret it. Yeah. <laughs> Three words that best describe you go. Annoying, smiley, um, uh, too much. Okay. <laughs> You know, you're a very happy guy. <laughs> yeah. very, are you always this happy? I'm stoked, man. I mean, look, listen, this is mad what's this, happening you're at the moment. You're living a dream, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're living a dream. Okay, here we go. Uh, what most annoying habit that you have, what is it? Uh, using too much ketchup. Really? Yeah, are yeah. You, are you like a on everything kind yeah, of guy? Pretty Just much. on things that shouldn't be? Like, yeah, exactly. That doesn't go there. Yeah, if you go to a really nice restaurant, you know, you're Can the lowbrow guy. Where's the ketchup? <laughs> <Yeah, okay. laughs> Favourite TV show? Um, the Office. Okay, great. Uh, hopefully the UK version. Yeah. It'd be a sacrilege I mean, the, uh, to, yeah, to say the UK. Both are wicked, but yeah. UK, yeah. Uh, go to karaoke song. Uh, maybe like Jolene. Okay. Yeah, I think yep, that's a good great, one. Yeah. Great. Uh, do you sing around the house? Are you that annoying Everywhere, person yep. that sings Everywhere. around the house? It's like, yep. I get it, Sam. You can sing. Okay. You don't Mate, have to. A do lot it. of the time when you're practicing around the house, it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, we're doing a Macca's run. Okay. Yep. We're going to get. What are we ordering? Cheeseburger, chicken nuggets. What's on? The, what are you doing? Uh, I used to love the apple pies. Like okay. molten We're not magma. even going to main meal. Straight yeah, to yeah, dessert. Yeah, straight to dessert. Okay. Maybe like chips as well. Just like. Apple? Absolute kind of wow. I don't know. Your guts. Like a panic. Your panic guts pie. Be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Apple pie and a French fry. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that, dude. Pleasure to meet you, guys. It has been an absolute honour. Thanks so much for having me, and I'll see you all soon. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.